September 5th, 2024. Welcome to the H2B Report. Let's jump right into the numbers. So if we're looking at the USCIS uh, application count, which was put out on September 3rd, 2024, you can see that we have just a little over 28,000 applications as of September 3rd that are in the hands of USCIS. Uh, okay, of these, some number are going to get requests for evidence. They're going to be a little delayed, but it's not going to be many. The total cap count for new worker visas, and these numbers here are only the visas that count towards the cap count, is 33,000. But, 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 there's usually a float of about 4,000 visas, a float. So you can kind of look at this number and say, okay, there's about 8,500 visas left, you know, for this program for this year. So according to just this number, uh, you know, when is the potential deadline? I said last week that I think it's going to be September 8th. I'm hearing people say, you know, we still think it's going to be September 18th. I'm not sure. You know, I, this number is moving pretty fast for me. So I think to be on the safe side, you still need to get your petitions. And if you can, if you're already approved by the Department of Labor, if you have your certification and you need a new worker visa, I would try to get them in ASAP. I would try to get them in there by Monday. Okay, don't sit on those. But let's also look at the DOL numbers. So now we're looking at the numbers from FLAG and here you can see that we have 35,352 visas have been certified so that's more than enough to meet the cap but on these numbers you have to look at them differently. On the DOL numbers those numbers include certifications for visas that are also cap exempt right that don't count towards that 33,000 cap plus the 4,000 float. So the 35,000 number all of those could very well be approvable okay so if you if you've been approved at this point and you, you, you know, you, you, they could be that all these visas have already been, been applied for, okay? It could, they could all be included in that 28,000 number. It's not likely, but they could be, okay? So that's where the difference is between the numbers. So DOL, again, uh, you're seeing in those numbers, even the, uh, you know, H2B uh, visas that are cap exempt, whereas in the USCIS number, you're only seeing the ones that are cap dependent. That's why there's a difference. But at any rate, what I'm thinking is that it hits somewhere next week. People smarter than me say it might be as late as September 18th, but uh, you know, you can take that risk. September 18th would be the absolute last day, but if you're taking that risk, just know that it is a risk. Okay, so get them in now if you can. So next step. So the next thing that you have to think about once this cap is reached is that we're going to have an additional release of visas for returning workers and for specific countries. Last year, the specific countries were Colombia, Ecuador, Costa Rica, Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, Haiti. I think I covered all of them. And Haiti doesn't really count because they have a completely broken down country at the moment. I say that every time. I just want to underline it. But there might be other countries that are in that additional visa release. And what that's going to mean, if it's anything like last year, is that we're going to see um, an additional amount of returning worker visas that are reserved for just October 1st to March 30th starters. The other will be allocated for starters from April 1st to September 30th. And some small number will be allocated for starters from May 15th to September 30th, okay? And then you're going to have, if it's like last year, those, uh, that special allotment for those additional countries is gonna be given out at once because the assumption will be that it just won't get used up in the first half of the year. Um, how many visas do I think will be released in addition? Last year we had about 66,000. Okay, so I, I think we'll have an additional probably 20,000 or so returning visas for this half of the fiscal year. The remainder will go in the second half and then you'll have, you know, around 20, 25,000 special country visas given out too. Who are these for? Well, they're for people who have a start date later than October 1st. Um, a lot of these are going to go towards December and January starters, some of whom are already starting to work with. A lot of uh, seasonal employers and landscaping, for example, have moved into March and February start dates. So that's who these returning worker visas are for. What else should you be thinking about? Well, there's a third thing, th thing to think about. We talked about this last week. You got to get your April 1st prevailing wages in, right? It's September, they take about 36 days to get back. So if you can start getting them in now, they're good for six months. You'll be able to apply for the April 1st cycle with them. If you need help with that, call us, just let us know. And uh, we're happy to help. That's it. That's the whole H2B visa report. We're starting to you know, think about future cycles. This cycle's coming to a close. Uh, there's always something going on in the H2B world. If you like this, please subscribe. Let others know. If you work in the seasonal kind of employment field, if you need a nanny, if you need caregivers, if you need landscapers, if you need fish 
farm processors, but not welders. Welders are so hard to get under the program. I got to do a whole different episode about that. So um, thank you guys and have a great day.